Good morning. This is CBS 58 Sunday morning for the 5th of January 2020. I'm Mike Stralo. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, the power of faith on the dais. Mark McPherson takes us to services at a local church where one pastor points to his past as proof that things can turn around. Plus, Tori Bacchius is with a pioneer in the field of animal dentistry, taking care of wild smiles for decades. And later, days before the opening of a new memory care facility named after a former Wisconsin first lady, an encore airing of Pauline Lee's visit with the former governor, helping others learn, cope, and survive as an Alzheimer's caregiver. Also ahead. This relationship with UWM has helped us build a program that is unlike anything else in the country, and I truly mean that, and it's because of Milwaukee. The essence of social entrepreneurship. Another look at a partnership involving UW-Milwaukee, a nonprofit, and a community campaign lighting the way for young people living with autism and providing a virtual reality vision for Milwaukee's future. Our Sunday morning spotlight is coming up. But first, with plenty of winter ahead of us, people looking for fun things to do indoors have more options than ever before, including a gathering place on Milwaukee's east side. We highlighted here on Sunday morning last September. September. Michael Schlesinger takes us to Hangout MKE Cafe and Lounge, the city's first activity cafe where some good old fashioned fun supersedes smartphone savvy. They walk in and they're overwhelmed and they say, you know what, this is a pretty cool space. It's big, there's a lot of really neat games. You guys have good drinks. They like it. Co owner of Hangout Milwaukee, Megan Stazak, is fully aware her new gaming venture might be a gamble. But in this world of iPhones, iPads, and all the smart technology you can think of, face-to-face -face contact and interaction might just be what we all need. And none of these. I mean, if they want to pull out their phones, they can. We won't stop you, but um, that's, we're encouraging that you put it down. I think the younger generation, um, including my generation, is addicted to cell phones and addicted to technology. And we want to put that down and do something and enjoy the people that are around you, your friends, your family, whatever it might be. And with those people around you, there are all those games you can enjoy, like Operation. Right, let me try one more. Let me try one more here. The bone. Oh, God, this is hard. I forgot. <laughs> I love this big tweezer. And it went off. Gosh darn it. Oh, well, it went off. This is hard. No, I'm, no, I'm really stuck. Okay. <laughs> Our next game. So this is soccer pool? This is soccer pool, yes. This is just sort of like a game of pool, but it, you play it like it's soccer. Aww. Speaking of soccer, the eight-person foosball keeps things moving. And moving is what I do, but in the wrong direction with a special kind of shuffleboard. This is rebound shuffleboard, so it's a uh, shuffleboard, but half the size. I guess the trick is to not do this too hard. Yep and not to come back on this side. That's right, you want it on the other side. There's also bumper pool and ping pong and papa shop. Do you have four already? I do. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is beyond embarrassing. Come on, Michael, get one at least. There's one, there you go. If scoring baskets isn't your thing, there's always giant Jenga. You can't beat this game either. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the goal? You want to take as many pieces away? Yeah, you want to take pieces standing. away, keep it standing, and then whoever makes it fall loses. Once the bricks fall and the dust settles, you can play Scrabble. And it's played just like normal Scrabble. It's just big. There's okay. magnets on the backs of these. Solved. That's a word. <laughs> solved. I solved you. I solved all the problems. After solving all the problems, there was one game left to play, at least for me. Dice. Go ahead. You got four of a kind. Four of a kind. Four of a kind, that's awesome. So let's see, four of a kind here, you get 40 points. Nice. To see it in reality is just blows my mind, you know. It's, it, I'm still pinching myself, making sure it's real. <laughs> the other owner, Becca Riddle, is still, at times, in disbelief what her new reality is like. 
but she likes everything about it. My personal favorite part about it is, the, is all the people we've met in the community. Um, and the fact that I have a space that can kind of cater to artists and musicians and poets and that's really my passion in this. Um, so just uh, that's my favorite part, I think, and coffee. We're very Milwaukee focused. We have um, local art hanging from um, local artists. We're having local musicians come in. Um, we have a map of Milwaukee on the floor. Um, all of our beer selection, it's all Milwaukee and southeastern Wisconsin based. Um, we're really trying to hone in on the local community and show that this is for the people of this area. I'm a big fan of Pizza Shuttle next door, and I like that it's kind of in the heart of the east side. I love the east side, I love the vibe here. We're a block from Brady Street. Um, we're close to UWM, which I love my experience at UWM. So it's perfect for us. I'm told this entire concept took two years to come into play. From a detailed business plan to the right backing from a bank, the mentoring from a free service called SCORE also helped with execution. The process of starting your own business takes time. Um, you can't force it, you can't rush it. I would have loved to have opened a year ago, but I also realized that we weren't ready. And now the doors are open for good. The owners hope they can show everyone they've gotten, sorry for the gamers' references here, a clue and are not sorry for the impact they're making. We can make it be whatever we want it to be. Um, and when we get feedback from people, we can immediately change things because we're not a big corporation. It's just two of us that literally live down the road um, and we can cater to the local community, which is awesome. So you have to remember that in the store, you're working with them outside your family. <laughs> Strengthening a family business and ties through laughter and hard work. We had a house in the downtown Cedarburg. Yeah. I really wanted birds, and basically three months later, we moved here. And next, why a Cedarburg couple ditched their suburban home for an animal house. Now, weekends are wilder than ever. With a competition so cutthroat, they are all going down. Obstacles so outrageous. And wipe out so wicked, you won't believe it's only a game. This is crazy. So funny. Oh. It hurts. Wipe out weekends. Today at 11 on the M. Could someone be stealing your identity or hacking into your phone or laptop? It can actually happen from across the room or from thousands of miles away. Or a company you trust with your personal information could be breached. Your information is in more places than ever. You need more protection than ever. That's why Norton and LifeLock are now part of one company, providing an all-in-one membership for your cyber safety. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you identity theft protection, device security, a VPN for online privacy, and more. Cyber criminals keep looking for new ways to steal your personal information. You might not even know it until it's too late. Someone filed my taxes under my name. $6,000 was sent to some anonymous person, some anonymous bank account. They got into my bank account and my cell phone. What else do they have? With threats all around, you need 360 degree protection. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you all-in-one protection against today's new threats. I've got two industry leaders coming together to help protect my identity and my devices. Why not have that added layer of protection so that you can sleep well at night? Join now and use promo code MYPROMO to save 25% off your first year. All Norton 360 with LifeLock memberships include LifeLock Identity Theft Protection, backed by our million-dollar protection package, and U.S.-based restoration specialists who will work to fix problems. Award-winning Norton device security for multiple devices. A VPN for online privacy, securing your connections whether you're on public Wi-Fi or at home. And more. You never know where cyber threats are lurking these days. Don't wait to become a victim. Here's how to join. New Norton 360 with LifeLock. Call 1-800-234-0137 or visit lifelock.com slash mypromo. Use promo code mypromo to save 25% off your first year and get a free shredder with annual membership. Call now. 
A Cedarburg couple has given new meaning to animal rescue. They've made giving goats, pigs, and others a place to live out their days a mission. And as Amanda Porterfield discovered last fall, their wildlife is also a lifestyle at the Autumn Farm Sanctuary. He's up against the rock wall yeah. right over there. The furry friend Alyssa and Brandon Herbst are peering at across the barn is Moon the goat. Do you want some apple? And while he may arguably be the greatest of all time around Autumn Farm Sanctuary. You're doing okay? He's usually everybody's favorite. We call him our giant cat because he'll come <laughs> yeah. up and just rub up against you. Everybody loves Moon. Everybody is important here. Each one is so unique. Each one has its own personality. Miss Piggy the pig, the miniature horse Scooter, along with the roosters and the chickens. We've been lucky that everybody, we've been able to get all of our mammals, even though we have many different species living all in one area, they all just kind of make it work with each other. And we've never really had any fighting or anything like Territory that. Territory or yeah, anything like that. They're just like, yeah, yeah, we're all here to retire. It's one big family of farm animals who either don't have much time or are disabled somehow. Like Moon, who was used for medical testing and before this, didn't have interactions with others. We take in officially, it's sick, neglected, abused, and unwanted farm animals. So it's hospice care. They've been rescued, either by Alyssa and Brandon themselves, or by people who happen to see them and want to help, or decide to let their own pets go. What keeps this place going, though, is this couple's love, not only for the animals, but for each other. There was a time yeah. when we were cool and we had MySpace <laughs> and MySpace was cool and that was how we, we met through there. We just went out on a blind date. I think I moved in after like six months. Yeah. We kind of What's jump into things a lot. <laughs> I knew <laughs> Seems to the, work, minute, though. the minute I saw this, if I could get a second date, mm -hmm. I knew I, without question I would, would shoot for the stars. They've been together around 10 years now. And five years ago, Brandon was on track to take over the family's successful business. The plan was to take it over, but uh, we decided we wanted to have kids and we wanted to take farming to the next level. So after 18 years, he quit and they both put their busy suburban lives behind them and moved to the country. You do kind of naturally get caught up in that rat race of like trying to get the, you know, newest iPhone and go on the best vacations. And that was all fun. We were working really hard. We were enjoying it. Um, Until the neighbors then, got a better phone and a better Yeah, car. then it's like, oh, I want to get that one too. <laughs> and then when coming here, we just realized how much we don't need to be happy and how much we can get by with hand cranking our, our coffee every morning. Uh the farm animals, they don't care what phone we have. Their love for animals led them to open Autumn Farm Sanctuary in Cedarburg, where they try their best to live life without excess and do what they believe is best for the environment. There are about 60 animals here at Autumn Farm Sanctuary, and they're pretty close to capacity. But this couple's dream is to one day rescue cows as well. And we also want to just, yeah, get more awareness out there and then also more eventually community involvement. Taking care of these animals day after day <laughs> is a lot of work. Can come and sit. So how do they make it all work? A good therapist mm, yeah. and... I, uh, <laughs> no, in all honesty, I think that's it. We, we do mind and body every week. But they also rely heavily on volunteers. Right now, about uh, 25 active volunteers in whatever capacity that they can. Most of our volunteers are our saviors for keeping the barn clean when we can't or or just so that we can get the grass cut or every once in a while have a family dinner or have you know some time to ourselves. I think what I realized was like well we're doing this for free and we really love it and and for them it's just having the ability to have these connections with the animals. It's really heartwarming when we see not only them still pushing through but then also seeing our volunteers noticing these things and and taking extra steps to make sure that you know this one animal is comfortable. It costs around $25,000 to run the animal sanctuary and the care is round the clock so they need all the help they can get. The more people helping the better the animals will be treated and the more we can again the more animals we can rescue. But their latest addition to the family isn't an animal at all. It's this little guy. 
their foster son, Harry. We've had him since he was a week old, and, um, and he just wasn't, um, he wasn't able to safely go home with his, his family, and we are um, hoping to soon adopt him. And now I couldn't imagine not having our son. While these two vegans hope they can save as many creatures as they can, they say their main goal of this sanctuary is awareness. <laughs> Uh, we want to educate people on... That's our primary goal. Yeah. Education. Um, how awesome farm animals can be, that a chicken can have a lot of personality and that they can love you as much as a dog can. We're one of the old mainstays right here, for sure. Mm -hmm. More than longevity coming up. The secret of this trophy family's success. I'm getting the gang ready for the Waukesha Jamboree. Join us January 17th to 26th all across Waukesha for a ton of family-friendly activities. The Waukesha Jamboree, January 17th to the 26th. Wisconsin's premier winter festival. I'm David Gruber. If you or a loved one has been injured, let my family take care of yours. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. Yeah, yes, put your weapon down. Happy Mardi Gras. Another New Orleans tradition that I love. I'm genuinely having a blast. Tonight at 8 on WMLW, The End. As a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get. At Liberty Buchamug. Cut. Liberty Bibberty. Cut. We'll dub it. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. This is a special report for people who want the facts about reverse mortgages without the hype. You've seen a lot of commercials telling you how you can turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. But do you really know if a reverse mortgage loan can help you? Call today. For a limited time only, we'll send you a free special report. Reverse mortgages, facts without the hype. Did you know that not everyone over 62 can qualify? And you can choose to receive your money monthly or in a lump sum. Call us today and get all the facts you need. You'll speak with an experienced reverse mortgage advisor who will give you honest answers to your questions and even provide a free personalized assessment. This is a big decision. Get the facts with this free special report. Reverse mortgages, facts without the hype. There's no obligation and the call is free. So don't delay. Call 1-800-808-5030. That's 1-800-808-5030. Molly's adopting a bundle of joy. Why would you do this without talking to me? I wanted to snatch it up before somebody else got to it first. It's not a door buster at Walmart. It's a baby. On the next Mike and Molly. Monday at 5 on the M. The 62nd Grammy Awards live from L.A. And this year, CBS 58 wants to send you there. Register now for a chance to win a trip for two. Let's go. The Grammy Awards Live, Sunday, January 26th on CBS 58. Generation after generation, they're the Milwaukee family whose quiet work elevates achievement and honors all who've earned it. Brittany Lewis takes us to Old World 3rd Street to highlight Trophy Athletic, a legacy business that's the stuff of champions. <laughs> Oh, we're good, aren't we? To sit, even for a bit, yeah, with the Wagners. Yeah, and I used to take naps at the store. <laughs> <laughs> it's to become part of their family. His friend knew my no. friend, and we oh. met. Well, <laughs> there we go. This I'll is, tell a short get story. This one. <laughs> I'll tell a short story. <laughs> or at least get a glimpse into the three generations of family history. We try to do Reader's Digest versions so we don't bore everybody, but. <laughs> that brought them to where they sit today. <laughs> this is a little longer book. <laughs> That's Andrea, who's usually always laughing. Her husband, Dick, to her left. Their kids, Deborah and Robert, on the right. These are some old pictures. And on the wall behind them is a picture of Hyman and Marianne Popich. Yeah, yeah. Andrea's parents, who opened Trophy Athletic Supply Company 80 years ago. My dad and mom started the business in 1939, where Pier Marquette Park is right now, a block from here. And um, they just started a, a trophy business. 
And, and it was sporting goods at the time, too. They did um, drill bowling balls and until the bigger sporting goods stores came around. This is uh, the new hamburger place that's going in, the ex-cousins, and we're somewhere in here. They move from somewhere in that black and white picture to one door down from where they would permanently set up in the 60s. This building had more space, and we needed that to grow the business. A business that only made sense. Actually, my husband worked here before I did. He was for Dick and Andrea to take over. We became friends with a lot of our customers, actually. This neon sign is much a welcome to customers. We treat them like family and they feel close to us. As it was for the Wagner kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, anytime we were off on the summertime, you know, off of school, we'd come down here and dust the shelves or build trophies. It's like anything for a while. So when the time came, Deborah and Robert took over. They're proud and that we took over. So it's like our second home down here, you know. Together, their hands have worked to make thousands of trophies, plaques, and awards, recognizing the manliest man in football and those who protect and serve. Do a lot with the Milwaukee Police Department. Various trophies in there, and this was my dad. They do it all surrounded by pictures. The dad, when he was in the Jewish Center Wall of Fame. And family memories. Parents with uh, Bush who passed away just recently. Senior. Engraved over time. He actually chiseled it out. He made that. That was before the computers and everything. That was Rob and Debbie. Time has changed the way they work. Everything has sped up. I mean, we used to have like three engraving machines way back. A stamping machine oh, and yes. now the machinery we have now it's all computerized and what they see around them is also different in the, our area there were small stores there was a shoe store hat store restaurant uh, mostly yeah. family owned but now yeah. it's turned right. into mostly bar bar, um. bar but the glue and goop and laughter <laughs> that holds the family and business together. We're one of the old mainstays right here, for sure. Is as sticky as it was when Hyman and Marion Popich opened 80 years ago. And I know they're proud. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I shouldn't even be alive. My life had become, had fallen apart so much. After the break, high praise for the healing power of faith. At U.S. Cellular, we know you work hard. So we work hard to give you the best deals. Like a free smartphone when you switch. Plus unlimited data for $30 per month. So you can keep streaming. Keep posting. Keep hustling. And keep more of what you've earned. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a free smartphone. Plus unlimited data for $30 per month. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. If your glasses aren't perfect, we'll fix them. So will we. No, we won't. <laughs> Use your 2020 vision insurance on your first pair and get 50% off a second pair. Vision Works. See the difference. We made USAA insurance for members like Kate. A former Army medic made of the flexibility to handle whatever Monday has in store and tackle four things at once. So when her car got hit, she didn't worry. She simply filed a claim on her USAA app and said, I've got this. USAA Insurance has made the way Kate needs it. Easy. She can even pick her payment plan, so it's easy on her budget and her life. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. USAA. A Milwaukee tradition since 1928, Gell's Food Market has been serving the community with specialty items that are still hometown favorites. From the fresh meats cut daily to our classic sausage from our secret recipe, stop by our meat counter for great selection and great prices. We also have the freshest greens in town with the best selections daily. Slick mustard, curly mustard, turnip and collard greens. We've been your neighborhood grocer and part of the Milwaukee community for over 80 years. Come see us today at Gell's Food Market. Super Bowl champ, George Coons, on Burke Griffin. Those second and third year. What we have to do as an office, we have to be able to run the ball, slow that, that pass rush down. Today at 10.30 on the M.
Next month will mark one year since Bridge Church of Waukesha brought its message of hope to Lake Country, opening a branch in the Nature Hill Intermediate School in Oconomowoc. For its new pastor, the launch date was symbolic because it was 10 years earlier, Valentine's Day 2009, that he first overdosed on heroin. Mark McPherson shares Tyler Wolf's journey from addiction to redemption in a story that first aired in May of last year. God, we love you, and this is all about you. This Sunday morning service has the familiar, like singing and prayer. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26. And the slightly unfamiliar, like tattoos and drums. This is Bridge Church, and it's new to Oconomowoc. Bridge Church family, can we show some love to our guests in the house? Come on. We launched on February 17th here in Oconomowoc. It's led by Tyler Wolf. There's something about Bridge Church where it really is one of the friendliest places um, when you walk in. This church launched just weeks ago as a satellite to Bridge Church in Waukesha, which has been there for 60 years. We want to reach more people, and uh, we do have a pretty big number of people that were attending the Waukesha campus that live down in the Lake Country area. But something we've been working on for actually years. Todd Pope is the lead pastor in Waukesha. He says the five years of work it took to open this branch was worth it. You have the opportunity to impact a, a whole region instead of just a community. He's known Tyler for years. He says he's the perfect person to lead this new congregation, not just for what he does up here, but for what he's been through in the past. I knew Tyler when he, when he was a drug addict. I was a heroin addict. Tyler is 10 years sober, moving forward from an addiction that almost killed him. I shouldn't even be alive. My life had become, had fallen apart so much. Tyler hit rock bottom after two overdoses. The day I decided to get clean, I, I rolled up my sleeves and I showed the scars, the track marks from the needles on my arm, showed them to my mom and to my parents, and I said, look, I don't know what else to do. I need, can you please do something to help me? Because I can't stop and I'm gonna, I'm gonna die doing this. His family called a local church who got him into rehab. I have, I did 12 months. I remember the first time I saw him when he came back on a break from the rehab center that his countenance was clearly different. Uh, you could tell in his eyes and his face that he had been transformed. When he got out, Tyler poured himself into his church. Being able to be in the church eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, and then on Sundays was a huge part of my recovery. They just, they held me close at a time that was super fragile for my life. Today he uses his past struggle to help others. Just this past Sunday, I said from stage, I said, um, I said, we talk a lot about, about the orphaned. Now at Bridge Church, we talk a lot about the orphan. We talk a lot about the addict. We talk a lot about people that have come from really rough places. There's lots of people in our community in Waukesha and here um, that are addicted, you know, that they don't have any hope and they don't have any joy. And to see somebody who's been where they are and, and now has infectious joy and has a tremendous life uh, gives them hope. This Sunday we visited Bridge Church. The hall was filled with music. Music is really important in the story of God, and it's an important way to bring people together to worship corporately. So they're going to experience like vibrant uh, worship, really energetic worship. That is followed by a message. We want people to walk away with something to do, something not just this big idea that doesn't really have anything to do with their everyday life, but we want people to walk away with an action step of what they can do differently this week. The church is just getting off the ground in Oconomowoc, but Todd and Tyler hope that in the weeks to come, these chairs will fill up. We're not trying to build the Bridge Church brand. Uh, that's not why we expand. Uh, we're trying to expand the story of Christ. And they say everyone is welcome. Everyone. We think you can belong even if you don't believe. But ultimately, we believe that the, the love of Christ is so compelling that once you're in, that you're going to want to be a part of that. It's the start of a new beginning for Bridge Church in Oconomowoc and the man leading them. Where we're going, I, I really don't know. In our community calendar, the Milwaukee Admirals host their annual Special Olympics Wisconsin Night at UWM Panther Arena this Wednesday. During their game against Grand Rapids, Special Olympics Wisconsin athletes, coaches, and volunteers will be involved in a variety of activities on the ice. On Thursday, the world's largest contemporary circus, Cirque du Soleil, returns to Milwaukee with Axel at Bicer Form. 
The latest Quebec-based production fuses ice skating with acrobatics and music for an astonishing spectacle. Also Thursday, the Midwinter Gaming Convention invites attendees of all ages to play their favorite games at the Hilton Milwaukee City Center Hotel. Now in its 20th year, the annual convention features games of all types from local and national creators. And on Friday, National Geographic Live comes to the Marcus Performing Arts Center with When Women Rule the World. Professor of Egyptology, Dr. Kara Cooney, showcases times in ancient history when women ruled the civilized world. It's all about changing the dynamics around the perception of individuals with autism. Yes. The entrepreneur now helping UWM students bring their ideas for social good to fruition. Our town belongs to us. We can't hope for safety. It's our job to deliver it. Today at noon on the M. If you or a loved one were hurt in a car accident, call Ginlan Liverman and Reimer. Heard in a car? Call GLR. Our attorneys and staff will start working on your case fast. If you can't come to us, no problem. We'll gladly come to you. They answered all my questions and got my case moving. And when it's time to deal with the big insurance companies... GLR fought the insurance company and got me the money I deserved. Heard in a car? Call GLR. Just dial sevens. You're a person. Not a credit score. But sometimes your score gets in the way of the things you want to do. Personal consumer loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. And you can check if you're eligible on netcredit.com without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Visit netcredit.com today. Do you remember very much? Do you remember what happened? A man should remember his past. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? Do you remember the first song that you guys ever wrote together? Do you remember jokes and take pleasure in relating them to others? Do you remember that one time when everyone was shouting my name? Movies. 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 <laughs> remember when you, you, when you got into a taxi? It was a check-in taxi. Do you remember the day of the nightclub? Remember? When we had the big flood. You remember the figures we discussed? Don't you remember that period when she wore black for a year? You remember when he returned? Hi there. Remember me? Remember me. Remember me, huh? Oh, sure, I remember you. I, of course, remember you. Remember the magic. Remember the moments. Remember the movies. Super Bowl champ, George Kuntz, I'm Burke Griffin. So second and third year. What we have to do as an offense, we have to be able to run the ball, slow that, that pass rush down. Today at 1030 on the M. A growing number of people are finding success and happiness doing business for a social cause, including a Milwaukee couple we featured eight months ago here on CBS 58 Sunday morning. They've partnered with UW Milwaukee and a young professionals group on a project that promises to create a bright future for individuals, college students, business, and the community. The framework for this community collaboration of social entrepreneurship is our Sunday morning spotlight. John, what are you creating there? Both Mark Fairbanks Just like that. and Chris Willie each have a creative mind, artistic eye, and, as they discovered, a green thumb. We're both pretty avid gardeners, and so we, we met up at Milliger's kind of haphazardly or circumstantially. In the like, tomato aisle. Seren serendipitously, and I was like, hey, so what's going on with you? And he's like, there's something going on. We need to talk. And the guy who's helping us with the project Fittingly, it was a garden center where the seeds were planted for a partnership between nonprofit. I want to team up with as many people as possible. And academia, a collaboration showcasing individual and community-wide benefits of social entrepreneurship. How this has all come together, it's, it's really remarkable and I think a testament to community connections and the desire to 
partner in the name, not only of, of good for the community, but where we want to position Milwaukee as a leader in, in technology and also neurodiverse talent. So if you take your right thumb... To appreciate the road they're taking together, it's important to note the separate paths that led to this intersection of shared ideals. <laughs> You're doing splendid. Yeah. Today's the day. Today. Today is the day, right? Chris Willey is a lecturer at UW-Milwaukee and director of the university's immersive media lab that uses emerging technologies like virtual and augmented reality to bridge science and the humanities. For years as a teacher, I would say, okay, welcome to my classroom. Here's what you're going to learn. And now it's welcome to this research space. Let's grow together. This author, curator, and artist says he's on this planet to help others. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's a message of social entrepreneurialism that resonates with his students who, along with other student innovators on campus, will benefit from the brand new Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. Seeing them learn how to talk and learn how to be community leaders around emerging technology, well, that's better than any grade I could ever give. So do you want to be in this mode or oh, the edge mode or the... I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> After a long and successful career in design and advertising, Mark Fairbanks launched a nonprofit with his wife, Margaret. Islands of Brilliance teaches children, teens, and young adults living with autism employment skills through digital design projects. Thank you. The Fairbanks experience raising their son, Harry, who was diagnosed with autism at age three, was the inspiration to take Islands of Brilliance full time. What happened to me in the telling of that story, there very coldly and clinically, the two doctors confirmed our fears. Was I understood that this was the most important thing I was going to do with my life? All steam engines are to go back to their sheds, Thomas. Knowing Harry was obsessed with Thomas the Tank, Margaret used the fixation to motivate their son to learn. So she talked like she was a Thomas character, and it was kind of the first thing, like he made eye contact with her for a little bit. So by going into his world, she was able to kind of pull him out, and Margaret used that for learning opportunities over the course of the next three or four years. So math became about trains, and writing became about trains, and reading also. And little by little, he made progress. It's the concept behind Island of brilliance. Try and right click on see if a menu comes up. Students on the autism spectrum, such as Garrett Scott, are paired with design professionals who help them create community building projects based on their subject matter expertise. Working with virtual reality makes Garrett feel happy, comfortable, and confident. I can touch it and hug it and uh, even place it in front of me. Earlier this year, 88.9 Radio Milwaukee partnered with Islands of Brilliance to create a new member t-shirt. Garrett, who also plays piano and composes music, submitted the winning design. Milwaukee. Our stories. Our bridge. Today, Islands of Brilliance is working with a young professionals group raising money to install lights on the Hone Bridge. In fact, it's the community project that brought Fairbanks and UWM's Immersive Media Lab together. We were already kind of in cahoots and working towards a partnership, and it just slowly built towards this uh, opportunity to use the Light the Hone as the project. Fairbanks and Willie's students will create a virtual reality experience of the bridge in Inner Harbor. The finished product will be showcased in October at the Fall Experiment, a diverse and inclusive festival that celebrates the intersections of technology, art, music, and film. Not to say that we're not super jazzed about Light the Hone, but the product is not the point, for me anyway, it's you know building that entrepreneurial mindset, building the creativity and seeing that, using that as a lens to see each other, I think that's what's important. And this building focuses that lens. I don't think it's a coincidence. The whole Islands of Brilliance and the lights and all of that and the bridge because we're working on building pathways to employment for neurodiverse talent. Talent like the Fairbanks now adult son, Harry. When he was identified, the neurologist literally said, don't plan on college. And uh, I, I don't know how you can say that about 
a three-year-old. A prognosis they refuse to accept. Harry just finished his junior year at UWM, where he's enrolled in the school's design and visual communications program. He also works 15 hours a week on campus. He had a job interview yesterday uh, for a summer internship, and he's just doing great. Um, we could not be, <clears throat> sorry, um, we could not be more proud of him uh, because he also understands his role as the inspiration behind the program and how he's a role model for a lot of our students. Early on, you know, our story with Harry was the focus. We've got um, yeah, start over. dozens of kids we can tell stories about that are similar now because of this experience, and he recognizes that. You'll find today's stories and those from previous episodes at cbs58.com slash Sunday morning. And please send your story ideas to Sunday morning at cbs58.com. I worked on everything from elephants and rhinos uh, teeth to um, tiny little pygmy marmosets. Next, meet the dentist to the animals. On the next Big Bang Theory. Oh, friggity frack, not this again. Are Penny and Leonard patching things up? I kind of told my father we got back together again. Do you actually want me to deceive your father with some sort of sham play acting and kissing? Because I'm good with that. But the truth comes out. Please, please, please don't give up on her. What? I want grandkids before I die, and I want them to grow up in a house without wheels. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 6 on the M. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. People were afraid I was contagious. I felt gross. It was kind of a shock after I started Cosentex. Four years clear. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentex. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentex. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. Ask your dermatologist about Cosentex. Injured? Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices. Let my team take care of yours. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. CBS 58 keeps you on top of breaking news with our fleet of aerial drones. The leader in drone coverage and the first Milwaukee station to use drone technology, bringing you closer than ever to news as it happens. Sky Drone 58 on the CBS 58 News. A dentist who pulls teeth, does root canals and cleanings may not seem all that unusual. However, the dentist we met also fixes beaks and sticks his hands into the mouths of lions, tigers, and bears. Yes, one of America's top zoo dentists has been making the rounds at the Milwaukee County Zoo for nearly three decades. In a story we first brought you in May of last year, Tori Bacayas learns the secret to helping animals achieve their wild smiles. I noticed he had a dark tooth in there, and that's what I was kind of concerned about. Dr. John Shields, a retired Wauwatosa dentist, is doing a dental exam on Leroy, a mandrel at the Milwaukee County Zoo. 
We found quickly that a root canal I had done on him 10 years ago was still fine on one of his canines. And he had a couple little minor things on a couple other teeth, but very minor. Oh, yeah. The zoo called on Dr. Shields when they noticed some changes in the primate's behavior. Leroy was having some problems. Um, he's an older animal. Um, he's losing a little weight, and um, the, the veterinarians want to know if, if dental problems were part of his issues. Dr. Shields examined Leroy's mouth, cleaned his teeth, and together with the zoo's medical team, ultimately determined that Leroy's teeth weren't the root of his problem. He's an older animal, um, geriatric, and he's got arthritis. While Leroy was under, the medical team took his blood work and did a full physical on the primate. Leroy is one of hundreds of animals Dr. Shields has performed dental work on. I didn't see anything at all today. I worked on everything from elephants and rhinos' uh, teeth to um, tiny little pygmy marmosets and um, um, just tiny little animals like hedgehogs and sugar gliders. Those are the most challenging. Just working in Dr. Shields says he's worked and, uh, on 90 different species, animals, totally up to more than 600 procedures. Over the years um, I've done um, almost 100 root canals on animals here at the zoo. And that includes, um, I think, about um, 30 on lions and tigers alone, and uh, bears, and many on the gorillas, and polar bears. His first procedure was in 1981 on an orangutan who fell and broke some teeth. We came over and at night in the, um, the monkey building. We got a flashlight and I stole some instruments from my practice and we extracted those teeth and uh, it was pretty exciting and uh, that's how it started. Back then, animal dentistry was a relatively new practice. There's only about five or six of us in the United States that are doing it as long as I am. And so it took lots of research and innovation to master the craft. We were using a, a mouth prop that's made for dogs and this and I was extracting a tooth on a hyena and the hyena crushed this thing I went whoa I had to get my hands out of there so I started making wooden wedges of my own to um, keep the animals mouths open safely because there was nothing available for the big one now animal dentistry has come a long way especially at the Milwaukee County Zoo clean the teeth we have the, we do it the same as with people we have here now a full dental setup. We have, uh, besides the hand instruments, we have a cavitron. Just like when people go and have their teeth cleaned, we have a beautiful dental setup here. We have digital radiography. Um, it took a long time to get all that, though. At first, it was pretty simplistic, and we had it was a lot of hard work. <laughs> Dr. Shields is now committed to sharing his expertise with others and started a website to share his knowledge and experiences. Um, for example, I have like a, a, a lot of pictures and des descriptions like how to do a root canal on a tiger. Okay. From root canals to teeth pulling um, to cleanings, no, Dr. Tooth. Shields has done it all. So we can duplicate that picture, take a look at that picture. I mean, these animals belong to everyone in Milwaukee. And so they're really special. And um, if we're going to keep them captive, we need to take good care of them. Dr. Shields says animals have very similar dental needs as humans. We want to fight infection and pain, of course. That's first. The root canal that I did 10 years ago is fine. But working on animals' teeth isn't always easy. The most challenging part of working on the animals is um, even when we're prepared, we don't know what we're going to see until we open their mouth. They're not like my human patients who could who should say, Doc, it hurts over here. And even into retirement, Dr. Shields is still committed to helping the animals and the zoo. Oh, of course I love working on the animals. Obviously, if I was going to do it this long. Again, we see it, I see it as a responsibility, though, to do it right. And uh, it is so much fun. But the most rewarding part of his job isn't just getting to get up close to wild animals, although that's a bonus, but instead leaving the animals better off than they were before. Like Leroy, who was doing just fine when we visited him a few days after his procedure. The keepers will call me and directly and say, hey, animals eating better, feeling good, happier animal. I mean, that's the best part. Because she's the best thing that ever happened in my life. The love story that evolved into a mission to help caregivers of Alzheimer's patients. There was always something for you under the tree. It's pickles. Boy, you know you love pickles. Weekdays at 4 on the M. By Panther. Arr. Uh, It's got comfy Boba Pedic seating, dual power recliners, and power headrests. With Bob's discount, it's only $12.99. My Panther. Roar! Wow! Wow! It's Bob's discount! 
You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasborders, hors d'oeuvres, fondueurs, and flambeurs, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Pick and Save, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with same-day pickup and delivery. Because we believe in fresh for everyone. Now, weekends are wilder than ever. With a competition so cutthroat, they are all going down. Obstacles so outrageous. Nice job, baby! And wipeouts wow. so wicked, you won't believe it's only a game. This is crazy! So funny. Oh. It hurts. Wipeout Weekends. Today at 11 on the M. OMFG, our modern family guarantee. Can I get a full one? You'll LOL all week long. Woo! Monday. Let's get matching tattoos. Tuesday. It's a body spray called Sex Grenade. And that smell is driving me crazy. And it's working. And even. WTF, why the face? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I hope I could be as cool as you guys in 30 years. Does she think we're 50? No, no, she's just really bad at math. Modern Family Nightly. Tonight at 7 on the M. This bed in a box comes with a prize. Introducing the 11 inch Bobopedic Prize Hybrid Mattress. Shipped to your door in a box or set up in your home. With Bob's discount, it's only $4.99 for the queen. Get Bob's discount! Green and Gold Game Day Live, today at 10 30 on the M. The Lutheran Homes Wauwatosa campus will hold a celebration this Wednesday, marking the grand opening of a new memory care assisted living facility named Elaine's Hope. It honors Lutheran Home resident Elaine Schreiber. Diagnosed with Alzheimer's 16 years ago, she's the wife of former Governor Marty Schreiber. Through his book and on the speaker circuit, Marty's on a mission to raise awareness of the impact Alzheimer's can have on caregivers. Pauline Lee caught up with the Schreibers in a story we first brought you July of last year. There are smiles that make us happy, but the smiles that fill my heart with sunshine are the smiles that you give to me. If a smile so thank you. can make the eyes sparkle, <laughs> chances are it too. You are in a particularly smiley mood this morning. Is touching the heart. That makes me feel pretty good. For 58 years, Martin Schreiber's heart has belonged to Elaine. Mm -hmm. And most mornings, like clockwork, he makes his way to the Lutheran home in Wauwatosa right. to hold the hand that has his heart. We get together <laughs> as many mornings as I can for breakfast. Try some? Mm -hmm. Okay. Elaine is not much of a talker these days. What do you think of that? Pretty good? Her memory and her motor skills also aren't what they used to be. It's what unfortunately happens after living with Alzheimer's for more than a decade. That She doesn't have to know who I am in order for us to communicate. And the holding of the hand is the communication. Do you know what? You are just like the first lady of Wisconsin. But to this former Wisconsin governor, she's still very much his leading lady. The fact that I can hopefully help her on this journey now is in just some way an exchange and repayment for all of the things that she has done for me. Because she's the best thing that ever happened in my life. Their journey started in 1953, when they were 14 high school sweethearts. And I wouldn't say, you know, I didn't walk up to her and let's get married, but, you know, I did see her and, uh, and thought, my goodness, that's a wonderful person. And well, they eventually got married in 1961, then became parents to four, and crisscrossed the state on the campaign trail to Wisconsin's highest office by 1977. He led the way, and she was his biggest supporter. My friend, my companion, my partner, anything that you could ever want in, in, a, in a loved one. But in their later years, after Elaine's diagnosis, their roles would switch. You're so focused on helping that person doing things in, in life that they always would do on their own, whether it's getting dressed or whether it's not getting lost at the supermarket. or. And as Elaine's abilities declined, so did Martin's quality of life. 
Everyone tries to do the best job they can, and it impacts their own health. The emotions begin to become so much, uh, it's a mess. You want some more? Looking back, he wishes there was some sort of manual for the ins and outs of being a caregiver. But since there wasn't, he made one himself, complete with the journal entries Elaine wrote early on in her diagnosis. July 3rd, 2012. I will try my best to be normal, whatever that means, and keep my happy side of life always continuing. I'm lucky to have such a good family and many friends to help me get through all this. And so another great day to thank the Lord and smile, smile, smile. Since first releasing his book, My Two Elaines, in 2016, he's now blazing a different campaign trail, traveling the state, giving close to 400 talks so far, all to raise awareness of Alzheimer's and to share his personal story of learning, coping, and surviving as a caregiver. I'd like to think I have made a difference and I'd like to think I can continue to make a difference. You're looking great. Do you feel good? Time will hopefully continue to grow our understanding of Alzheimer's. Are you happy today? But if time has taught him anything, it's to appreciate the little things. Good. Well, everything I am, I owe to her. There is no question about that. Trust the process. We can't control it. But we can choose our focus. Remember the good times. Know that I am okay. And that you are in my heart always. And if eyes are windows to the soul. When I would tell Elaine how pretty she was, she would go. A smile. She still does that. You know, aren't you, Elaine, very pretty, huh? It's the light indicating <laughs> the heart. See, yep, it's a... Is home. <laughs> it's home. And now a moment in Wisconsin. Running between Wisconsin's two largest urban areas, the Glacial Drumlin Trail stretches for 52 miles from Cottage Grove to Waukesha. Thank you for watching this encore edition of CBS 58 Sunday morning. Next week, a lineup of all news stories. Everything's 24-7 in this, in this world, and there's not enough family time. And we're taking a stance, and we're going old school, and people really respect it. Because we know how to do seven days of business in six days. For more than 90 years, Milwaukee-based Built Right Furniture has set an example in the local business community. Next Sunday, how this family-owned operation has succeeded while putting the needs of their employees in the forefront. For something new under the sun, CBS Sunday Morning with host Jane Pauley is next. Thank you for sharing part of your morning with us. I'm Mike Stralow. Please join us again next week for CBS 58 Sunday Morning. You're watching WMLW.